Well, good morning, cherry lovers. Uh, can you guess where I'm at? <laughs> I'm up north. I'm up north, and I'm at the farm. And uh, had to come up check on the trees. As you can see in the background, if you look, there's snow. Mm, but under the tunnel, there ain't no snow. I had to come up here because uh, downstate, we didn't get any snow. Well, they claimed we were going to get snow up here. So, and they were going to get it quite a bit. So, my high tunnel can take a lot of snow weight load, but the amount of snow they said they were going to get, well, I was a little concerned. So, I said, well, I'm going to have to come up here and check on it. Well, let me turn the camera around and let me show you what the high tunnel did. And I'm very impressed. So, well, hello, chair lovers. I just come in from outside and uh, kind of looked over my video here, and I didn't get the other part of uh, showing you guys what I was trying to t show you about the high tunnel in the snow. And what basically happened was it's done what it said it was supposed to do is the snow would build up, and then it, it's the plastic so slippery it just slides right off and. And that's what it did and that's what I was trying to turn the camera around but the camera didn't turn around and uh, my brother came and, and uh, so when I got in here and checked it that's what's going on so I just thought I'd let you guys know that's what's going on for the high tunnel it took a quite a bit of snow because they got wet snow and it probably got about maybe six inches of snow and it was heavy and it did its job so that's what i was wanting to find out i mean if we get one of them major snows with you know 8 10 12 maybe more of snow i might have to come up here but that's what i was trying to show you so and i'm just sticking this little tidbit in between the rest of the video so keep watching bye okay folks here we go let's go over here and check out some of the newer trees that I planted not like I said it's going on the second second year I think boy I'm losing track but I want to show you guys what's going on here like I said we got about I don't know say maybe three inches of snow but I wanted to show you guys some of the things that may need to I have to trim off some of these trees even though look at them they got some frost on them but this, uh, this tree here, if you look at it really close, it has, there's some things that need to be trimmed on it and I'm gonna trim them. Like uh, if you look at this tree as you're looking up, I'll stand back a ways, there's a branch that's right there that has to be trimmed off this tree because it's a, a below that one. And if you get two of them too close together in the springtime, this one here is crowding, that and that, and you wanna get good uniformity on this all right there's one other little branch that you see right that one right there that one has to come out because it it'll uh, it's too crowded in order to you know to make this uh, tree uniform this is what I got to do well there's one other one this one right down here has to come out because if you don't this one here and this one here will touch each other plus that one there is trying to go straight up which is not good not good at all so that's what I would do with that tree as far as this little old tree right now yeah we're gonna leave it there ain't much to take can do and let her go and we'll see what happens um, pretty much that's the same thing with these a lot of them there's not a whole lot I can do with them but you just never know when you look at them like this one here, I see the uniformity is good except for that bottom one right there. Uh, I don't see a 40 to 60 degree angle. So either I'm gonna this year, either gonna tie it back and pull it down and maybe I can get it or that one might have to come off. It depends on what I decide, I'm not sure. Uh, this one here, from the looks of it, that one right there has got to come out and probably the central leader down to there has to come out and that's what I'll do with that one 
like I said, it's just show, trying to show you things that's got to happen with these trees when, you know, uh, this one here on this tree, clear down to here, I'm going to cut it, the center leader. I'm going to cut that off because it's, uh, as it grows, they're going to be, you're going to have a problem there. So you always got to try to look for the problems down the road that you're going to have. And uh, this one here looks pretty good. We're going to hang with it and see what happens. So I might trim these back because this is my central leader because that's the way a lot of my trees are have central leaders and trim the other one back so that this this one here goes up and it's the central leader the other two are fighting it so i'll have to trim them back this one here of course the fence is going to be moved uh probably going to cut this one back to about here all that stock because this one here is looking like it's going to be my central leader. I might keep it and just trim it. Depends. Might trim it here and give me a central leader for the other one. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, that one there, we're going to leave. I'm going to try and get it to maybe that bottom run be clipped off. I'm not sure. But this one here looks really good. I'm just going to have to train it back with clothespins and rope. Uh, I got a dead piece that's hanging down. It's alive. That's got to be trimmed out. Uh, maybe a few small branches there, but that's about it. Uh, then this one here, we're just going to let her go for another year to see what happens. This one here, eh, I'm going to try and try and pull this one back out of the way of the one going this way, and we'll see what happens. Um, this one here. Pretty uniform, except for if I'm going to have this as my central leader, this one here has to come out, and it's got to come out way down, way right here, because it's on it. Shoot, it's straight up, so that's what I got to do there. Uh, this one just has to be tied back, because I got to get this branch a little farther down, and and we'll tie it down. But that's what's going on this one here looks pretty good except for being tied off that lower branch right there probably has to be snipped so of course if you look at this one if you give an idea what needs to be done on this one this is going to be my central leader you can see it going up so this thing right here right to here has to be cut uh, just small things like I said my other ones oh the, the older trees have already been trained but these are what's got to happen, and that's what I plan on doing up here. Won't be till last of February, first of March, and uh, but other than that, that's what's going on. Yeah, my sidekick come today. <laughs> and my brother. But then you get to see out there what's happening. That's what's going to happen in the springtime. Got a lot of stumps that's got to come out of there. So as soon as the weather breaks and the frost goes out, guess what? <laughs> we got work to do. So. All right, folks, well, I'm going to let you go, and uh, I'm going to try and see if I can to get any more, any more content today and to show you what's going on up here on the farm. On the farm, I should say. Bye now.